reception, Mr. President, my friend. Okay. Blue Devils, we did it! Yeah! <laughs> okay, I just want to say good evening to you guys, teachers, administrators, friends, and family. It's indeed an honor for me to address the class of 2016 from Merced College. First, let me share with you my story. Almost three years ago, I remember when I celebrated my first white Christmas. Hold on. You're all thinking, well, hmm, what's so special about that in this occasion? Well, for me, it's actually a dream come true because I've never seen snow my entire life. Not because I am from the Central Valley. I mean, I can just go to Yosemite, right? It's because I was born in the Philippines and grew up there for 19 years. Let's just say the four seasons only exist in Hollywood movies. When my family decided to move in the United States, my life completely changed. I was one of the few people from a developing country who was given an opportunity to experience the famous American dream. But this is not actually a rags to riches story, but more of a, I thought I already succeeded, but then I realized I'm not even halfway there yet story. I was about to graduate college in the Philippines. I was a senior majoring in political science and also preparing myself to enter law school. But my parents decided that I should just finish my education in the US. Everyone there was congratulating me because not all can have this huge opportunity to study here. As a migrant, I learned that it takes more than just a visa to be successful. Getting an education here means overcoming the language barrier while adjusting to different cultures, traditions, beliefs, and lifestyles. There's a struggle inside of me to find that sense of belongingness. And there's also the question of having a degree on time. Imagine repeating a four-year college all over again. These are just some of the obstacles I've faced in the past years. Tonight, I wanted to share what made me not give up on my dreams despite all of these challenges. I realized that there are two things that can always motivate us at the end of the day. Passion and interconnectedness. I read somewhere that your calling lies in the intersection of what the world needs and what you love doing. There is a relationship between the individual and society. I learned that from the social science. First, we find our gift. Then, we share that gift to others. What lies in the center is our purpose. And that purpose is the most powerful driving force in achieving our goals. A wise man once told me, Let's just call him Steven Sanchez. I hope he's here. Yeah, he's a very good friend of mine. He said, college is like choosing a pizza topping. Yes. I mean, it's right. It's just so hard because there's lots of toppings out there to choose from. But of course, what he meant is career paths to choose from. We need to know what can satisfy our taste buds and makes us happy in the end because that's the word we're looking for happiness and I encourage everyone to make your passion your profession did you know that passion is from the Latin word passio which means suffering so from the word itself if you genuinely love something you suffer for it you will never be tired of any hardships because you just enjoy what you're doing it's how we shape our thinking in all kinds of situation and trust that pursuit of happiness will never fail us. So after finding our gift, we need to share that gift to society, and that's where interconnectedness takes place. See, we're not just studying for our future and for our family's future. We are studying to find a cure for cancer and save many lives. We are studying to defend that innocent person from a jail sentence. We are studying to pass our knowledge to the next young minds. We are studying 
to protect our citizens from harm. We are studying so technology will progress and the environment improves. Nelson Mandela believed that education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Literacy is indeed a fundamental right for the self-actualization of every human being. And I challenge each one of us, when there are moments of doubts, when there are times that other people will say, well, you're not smart enough or not good enough for this. When you feel so tired and impatient, remember what keeps you going, your purpose. Congratulations, fellow graduates, the new millennials, and the hope of our future generation towards uniting a very diverse world, because I think we need that more than ever. Thank you. Thank you.